Well, all right, everybody. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Mel's Cooking Something. Today we're doing Korean short ribs. Korean short ribs, ladies and gentlemen, or Kalibi ribs. They used to be beautiful plate ribs, and now they're, now they're short ribs. Gonna make a beautiful marinade for you right now. We're gonna get this prepped up, ready to go. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna throw them in the ice box there for probably a day, for sure overnight. And then uh, they'll be ready to hit the big green egg tomorrow. So let's start on this marinade, everybody. First, we're gonna start with an onion. Beautiful onion. And we don't want all of it. I want, uh, I wanna see three quarters of this bad boy, probably. Three quarters should be plenty. I like to give her a nice little chop before I throw it in this cute little guy. I was gonna pull my Vitamix out, but really, this is easy enough. Quick, easy marinade. That's what we're going for. Here we go. Now I've got. Four cloves or five cloves of garlic. I love garlic. So, you're gonna see I'm gonna put way too much garlic in whenever freaking possible. Like now, for example. I enjoy garlic, you don't have to go that heavy. Three will do. Now I've got these green onions, which I am very partial to. These guys, I'm gonna chop them up real nice. Everyone enjoys them, green onions. I think they give almost a sweet kind of onion flavor, which I really enjoy, so I thought I'd sneak a couple in here. Now, most people go with the Asian pear. This is this is a good bet. The Asian pear is a nice, safe bet. You know what? I like apple. I don't know why, but I've always enjoyed apple on my ribs, pork ribs, whatever. You get that apple cider vinegar in with your uh, pulled pork, you name it, it's good, it's really good. I enjoy apple instead of pear, I don't know. Every time I every time I see a recipe that calls for pear, crab apples, you know what? Crab apples on ribs, oh buddy, love crab apples. Now, ginger, right? Everybody loves ginger. I also like too much ginger, why? Because it's super healthy for you, I enjoy it. Enjoy it. Sorry, I'm just kind of beating around the bush here with this. I, uh, I'm in a bit of a hurry. So, today you get an extra short video, which is, works for me. Hope it works for you. Marinade. Marinade of the beef short ribs, Korean style. But a fusion or uh, a hybrid, whatever you want to call it, because I'm not doing it classic like everybody else does. Kind of going my own way here. Now, mirin. If you don't know, now you know. Get on that mirin. It's amazing. Kind of like a sweet cooking sake. Look at that. Nice little drizzle there. Oh, yeah. We want to go, I want to say, a quarter cup, maybe a little more. I don't mind. Mel's always a bit more kind of guy. I can't help myself. Now, soy sauce. We're gonna go for sure one cup of soy sauce. I love soy sauce, but maybe too much. That's okay. Works really good in this uh, marinade, anyway. Now, I like to do a quick drizzle. Sesame oil, just a little bit. I really like the flavor of sesame oil. Drives me nuts. And then, for fun and games, this is black bean sauce. One good scoop of black bean paste. I love the finish that this adds when you're going in this marinade. It just adds that extra little little layer of 
je ne sais pas. You know, you know how it is. It's uh, very, very tasty. Now, everybody goes with a white sugar. I too enjoy white sugar. Plus, you got cane sugar. Gonna go with a uh, quarter cup. Quarter cup of uh, cane sugar. And if you can get it, if you can find it, honey powder. Gonna go with uh, well, a teaspoon of honey powder too. Ooh, yeah. And then. You can do chopped lemongrass. I happen to have granulated lemongrass, so I'm gonna do a bit of granulated lemongrass. Just for my own accord here. There we go. Now, I'm gonna plug this bad boy in to the blender. Oh look, and we're back. Now, oh, the smell coming off of that is just deadly. Absolutely deadly. You're probably wondering why I didn't add water to this concoction. Tell you what, I don't like how the beef takes on all of that water in the marinade. How it puffs up. When I'm searing these on the big green egg over the open charcoal, I definitely don't want it puffed up full of water. Almost like a, a dry brine if possible. Whenever I do steaks, I really enjoy a dry brine. So this marinade, as much as I want it, the flavor to get into the meat, I don't want this to balloon up like I'm uh, uh, brining, brining a, say a brisket or something to make pastrami. I, I, I don't want that. I don't want it to balloon up. I want this to take the flavor, take the flavor, and not the liquids. So, here we go. Boom. Here we go. Just massage her in there. Now, if you're finding it's at all sticky or pasty, which this, frankly to me, I'd let this go, but because of the camera, because of you fine folks out there, I'll give you another splash with the uh, soy sauce. Oh, just a little bit more. Just to lubricate, get inside of those crevasses of these ribs. There we go. Nice and fluid. Now this is gonna go, like I said, into the ice box now for, uh, well, probably eight, 10 hours. You can go 24 if you want. All depends what you're into. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be grilling these up tomorrow on the big green egg. Who's excited? I know I am. Catch you soon, everybody. And here they are, everybody, laid out. These beautiful Korean short ribs are gonna be so good. Headed off to the big green egg here right away. They've been sitting in that beautiful sauce that we did for quite a while now. I wanna say, ooh, 10, 12 hours, nope, 24, 30 hours maybe. There it stops, but look at them, look at, this is what I'm talking about, look at those bones. Just soak that juice right up. I can smell the ginger, the paste. This is going to be so good, everybody. I am off to put these on the big green egg right away. Stay tuned, I hope to see you out there. All right, now the big green egg is rocking and rolling. These beautiful Korean short ribs are going on here right now. Absolutely love marinated beef short ribs on the big green egg I can't explain to you how tasty these are gonna be
I'm sure you guys have had these before, probably at a restaurant or something, but at home, you nail this, you nail this marinade. This is gonna be one of your go-tos, game night, whatever. Friends coming over, you know what I'm talking about. This is gonna happen for you. You're gonna want it to happen every single night. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. Now I'm doing this indirect, about 350, 375 on the big green egg. Make sure they're spaced out enough. Pretty tight real estate because we got so many of them on here today, but that's okay. We can work around that. A little bit. It's not like smoking. We can we can have a few overlapping. If need be. And there we go everybody. Korean beef ribs on the big green egg. Gonna cook these down right now. I will catch you in a little bit when I go for the flip. All right, let's see how we doing. Ooh, look at that. They are coming along just nicely, aren't they? Gonna give them a little flip here. And then, we'll be ready to pull these guys. Oh yeah, we might even pull the expander out and just let them crisp up over the open coals. I think that's probably what we're going to do here. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Look at that color. These are doing just awesome. Oh, these are gonna be so good. All right, here we go again. Pulled the expander out just to finish them up, give them that crispy little bit. Give them that crispy little skin with that marinade. Figured you may as well get that open fire kiss. So here we go. Just tightening them up. Have that beautiful finish. When you have open fire, open coals, how can you not cook with it? Just look at it. Just look at that. How could you not cook with that? You know these ribs are just banging off the hook. Oh, I am pumped to get into these bad boys. Stay tuned. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen. Finished for your pleasure. About to dish these up and eat them. Hope you had fun cooking these, or watching me cook these. And I hope you jump on them and cook them yourself. Korean Klebe beef ribs. Done deadly. That's all I know how to do. Deadly, deadly. Watch me rip into these here right away. They are hot. Mmm. They are hot, but they are some kind of good. You gotta try these. You gotta make them. They're awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Hit subscribe. Love you.